So they'll be calling you a radical, so my young Japanese whistleblower is sitting right there inside the building. She is a gem. Talk about beautiful, smart, articulate. In Fukushima, or in Okinawa, in Tokyo, she's got her Tokyo shirt on. She tells me all kinds of stuff. Her mother's Japanese, her father American. She says, we fled mandatory evacuation. She has the exact same story as Rachel. She, she won't go on film. They can't go on film because she has to go back to Japan. And so her mother's Japanese. Her family's Japanese. I says, you're sitting in the building. The bitch. She says, I know. She is fantastic this certain place. So she's like, I've been getting this now because I'm meeting Japanese activists that are coming to me, young people, that were there. Mandatory evacuation. They forced her father to stay because in Okinawa, in Okinawa, hate Japan, blah, 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 blah. They made him stay. You know, Rachel can testify that Rachel and her children fled out, blah, blah, blah. And we, and she, I've showed her Rachel and I's data that we've got online. She's that, she, she all knows. She's talking to him. So we had a great conversation about Ricardo, Iki, Ricardo. And she know she's like, the cancer's off the hook. She goes back and forth. She says, everybody, young people, all know. They all know. And then we start talking about the food and the protests. She was telling me about protests in China and Taiwan, which I knew a lot about. They're going crazy about Fukushima all over there. Going nuts. So the play, this is the greatest cover-up in human history. So she tells me all kinds of stuff. I mean, I have a group of them now. I got an army of whistleblowers like no else on earth. I mean, it's incredible. And so the salmon numbers, I'll post them right now. I'm still waiting for them to get up. So Washington has banned all salmon. Oregon's still kicking the can. Bill Monroe, that propagandist. Bill Monroe's daughter and son-in-law were out, tragically killed in a car wreck last year. And, you know, I thought maybe that he would come out of the aisle, but God, what does it matter with this dude? He's still, you know, provocating out there his lies, his pro I mean, this is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human fucking history. So to San Diego. So Mike Levin, who ran on the anti-nuclear platform in District 49, the new 49ers, they're panning for nuclear waste. You know, or a medical de oro, fucking Blast wars, sugar wars, textile wars, cocaine cowboys, freaking plutonium wars. So he did a press conference at the reactor. I know Mike, he and I used to sit together at, that's the only reason he ran in District 49, San Clemente. That, that he and I have been interviewed together multiple times. He's fantastic. I love this dude. He's the only congressman in, of them all that I have anything good to say about. He did a press conference. So this is really important news for you guys to send out. I'm going to send this to Mike. And I'm like, I'll do all the dirty work, Mike. You know? Look at my shirt. <laughs> you only seen the back. We want to take over the world. So this is real important. So Holtec, who's got the contract, the delay was not their friend. This He wants this out of there, spade it up. And I told him, I says, well, you can blame public watchdogs. They came in with all that money and this rouge that somehow there was a scratch on a cancer and blocked this for nine. They're way ahead. They're fucking decades ahead of schedule. Into those shock absorber saints. Now, this is important because I'm the one that got that out inside the hearing. The NRC, the freaking DOE, PG&E, all of them, freaking Khaled, they all deal with me. They have to deal with me. They're afraid of me. And they know that. I'm the one that got it shut down. Mike knows that. So, I got it out of them. Once it's in those canisters, can you move it out and put it to a so-called permanent plate? Absolutely. That's our plan. They've never said that before. That was me who got that out of them recently. You know, and so this hearing was streamed online. My question was second question up. So the bigger question is this. So Rick Perry, who is the greatest dirtbag criminal derelict of, you know, he's right up there with a B, Obama, Trump, these criminal derelict bastards, has... There's an investigation going, I guess, on through some activists in Texas. I guess Rick Perry, from what I understand, is going to get exposed of his collusion. This whole, I mean, all roads lead to the nuclear energy crime syndicate. Ask Greg Craig. I, I love it how, you know, we're going to do this investigation, the shiny ballism, Mueller, 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 Mueller. We pay for it. We pay for it. We pay for it. But we don't get to see it. 
That's not a democracy. This isn't a democracy anyway. This is a republic with a constitution. The constitution was shredded the day the Patriot Act, when it was supposed to be temporary. Fuck Barack Obama could have vetoed it. He re-upped it. Fucking the same old club. And somebody says, oh, the Zionists did Saudi Arabia. So not the Saudi Arabians did not the Zionists. Who do you think the Saudis are, you stupid fuckers? Do you realize what their bloodlines are in their DNA? Hello. It's the fucking I and you feel the love. And they're all related. The Saudi royal family, the English royal family, fucking, <laughs> look it up, the fucking Putin, all of them, the Romanov DNA swap, fucking, they're all cousins, same old theme, 1916, with their dinks and their bombs and their guns and their, hello. So this is big news. The corrupt NRC nuclear row and cheerleaders right there, Idaho National Lab, she used to be on this campus. This is the Waters Construction who built the reactors of Fukushima. They cheated, they cheated, they cheated. In the belly of the beast, go after me, I don't really give a fuck. I'm going to record history, and, you know, I reply on public funding, which I haven't, you know, thought it's been and basically three or four people. You know, thank you to the Levi. I don't say enough to him. You know, he sent me money every month. Thank you to, you know, there's a, there's a few of them. Thank you so much to all of you. You're every bit as important to this movement as I am, you know, as far as, you know, this greatest ecological. We tried, right? We're still trying. We don't give up. It's like fighting cancer. We're, I'm not going to give up. You know, we're not going to give up. So Holtec, who I've known Holtec, they're like, the American populace refuses to freaking deal with this. We're going to show the world how to do it. We're going to privatize it. Okay. And they're right. Because the government, government, these people are derelicts. So this is big news for you at San Onofre. The NRC has agreed to review the Holtec permit for their site in Texas. Now, their site in Texas is not the hole and whip. Whip blew up. It was canisters here. I'm the one that reported two million. By the way, the first load of hot nuclear waste since 2014, since blowout, went in this week. So here's the big news. They've agreed to review it. Why is that big? They've denied it. They deny it. It's corrupt. They're going to approve it. It's a field just like the field that's sitting right there on the shock absorbers in the whole tech canisters on the shock absorbers, the cans. Is this still going? Let's look. Don't do this to me. <laughs> uh, may, oh, this is sweet of the uses of adversity, right? Oh, yeah, it's going. Maybe we can get my shirt. There we go. Fuck La Jolla. We Vikings. We Vikings. We pumble. Fucking Mission Bay accomplished. We're buccaneers. Fucking, we're pointers. We're chieftains. Fucking pass out the small box blanket. So, this is real important. Send this to Mike today. They agreed to review it. They're going to prove it. So his bill that he's put up, Mike, and he knows this, I'm working with him, is to immediately prioritize the San Onofre waste, which I've said that the whole time. So I think it's going to happen. They've already done it. The DOE has told me their priority number one is the San Onofre waste to come off that fucking beach to Texas. Now in Texas, well, in New Mexico, they say you can send it. They say you can send it in Idaho. They're illegally doing it here. So it's going to happen. You know, this is the greatest accomplishment in my, my life. I mean, surviving cancer, well, that was a big piece of this. But this, I, without me, San Onofre never shuts down. I'm the one that leaked everything into the domain. They were afraid of me. They had no intention to shut it down until I leaked the cheating and everything. They were afraid of jail. And I threatened them, you know. And they shut it down. It blew everybody's mind. We got to move to Diablo Canyon to get on that. But this, they're going to move it out of those canisters to Texas. You know, Rick Berry belongs in prison. I'll, Obama for prison, Trump for prison, the Fukushima cover-up in earnest. I mean, if you look at Rachel and I's data and you tell me, you know, so too late? It looks like the way. The ocean, right? Fuck, what a catastrophe. So I'll send this to Mike. Thanks, Mike. You know, he ran on the anti-nuclear platform and he won, just like the governor did at the one prefix in Japan. You know, the, she's like she says. She says, this cover-up is so big and so paramount here in Japan, people don't even know. And I says, yeah, Obama, Trump, Abby, the trilogy. On Passover, Passover, as fucking Paris burns, Kevin fucking played his fucking plastic fiddle with his Idaho steelhead fishing pole, extinction on the salmon. No one gave a fuck. And say, oh, I care, I care. I don't fuck, I've been here for eight years. I've been right here. I've been right here. I've been right here. All you had to do was fucking partner with me. Partner with me. We could have fucking changed the world. But it's like fighting cancer. You know, thank you to everybody who supported this historic work. You know, don't quit me now.
I'm gonna quit you. I, don't quit me now. Don't fucking quit me now. Fucking, this is fucking midway right now. We gotta put these fuckers in prison. We've gotta lock them up, and we gotta fucking destroy all of these players, marine biologists, academia, all of them. They gotta go fucking down. We gotta fucking save. We gotta fight for the fucking animals, the ecology, for all living things. Stand tuned. I ain't gonna quit you. I ain't gonna quit you. I ain't gonna, don't fucking quit me now. <laughs>